Kayla, and joining me today is Avalon. We're reporting for Kids First. Today, we have the pleasure of speaking with Audrey Grace Marshall, Tyler Lattice, and Imogen Collin. Audrey is known for her work on Netflix's The Last Summer and Jessica Jones. Tyler booked his first role at the young age of six, and since then, he has starred in Fox's A Christmas Story Live and ABC's Single Parents. Imogen recently delved into the film industry. One of her upcoming shows is the Disney movie, The Naughty Nine. Thank you for joining us, Audrey, Tyler, and Imogen. Thanks for joining us, Audrey, Tyler, and Imogen. Hi. So, Audrey, in this show, your character is live, but some of your cast members are the animated fairy godparents. What was it like filming these scenes without those people there? It was it was definitely confusing at first. It's you know, it's it sounds very impossible, but it was you got used to it. We had stand-ins basically who had cardboard cutouts of the fairies and they the fairies had to learn their blocking and stuff they had like real actors would and then by the time it was time to shoot they would step off frame and say their lines off screen so it was kind of it was kind of like acting to nothing but you 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 remembered like Wanda was right there Cosmo was there and then they did all the magic afterwards sounds like an amazing system it definitely was it was very cool Imogen, what inspired you to accept the role of Zena Zacharias? Well, I was auditioning a lot and then I got this amazing audition and I was like, this is so fun, this is so creative and I love this so much and I was like, I really want this role. So I continued auditioning and when I got it, I was just so thrilled. Tyler, your character is sort of a classic jock when he's actually a very kind and compassionate person. What was this like for you? It was the best character I've ever seen because he's good at everything and he's amazing and he's popular and he's athletic, but he's also really kind. So he's like the best friend anyone could ask for. <laughs> Audrey, what was it like to play such a shy character on screen when your personality is sort of the complete opposite? <laughs> I think it sort of does come off that way, but in reality, I would say I'm a lot like Viv in real life. I can, at first I'm quite shy, I might get a little nervous, but just like Viv, I, I sort of relax. I get used to it after a little bit. And yeah, I sort of just tried to show up and be myself. Yeah. Imogen, your character, Zina Zerkes, is um, stands out because she is madly in love with Roy. What was it like to portray that? Um, it was fun, you know. It, me and Ty are very close, so you know, it was, it was pretty fun filming all the scenes. It was really hard not to laugh, obviously. <laughs> cool. Tyler, the cast and crew lets you safely fall from the roof in episode three. What can you tell us about shooting that scene? That scene was probably the most fun stunt I have ever done because I love like getting hooked up to um, a rig and they'd like, like would uh, pull me up and down. And it was so much fun because I mean, stunts is my favorite thing. And honestly, it was, I had the best time. That was my favorite scene probably. Yeah, that sounds really fun. Thanks, yeah. Audrey. How does your character, Vivian Turner, develop for the better throughout this series? I think Viv develops for the better by, she's very, you know, she's a fish out of water in Dimsdale. It's very odd for her. It's, it's a cartoon world. So, so I think, um, I'd say she gets used to it a little bit. You know, for Roy, this crazy Dimsdale is, you know, his normal. I think Dimsdale sort of becomes normal, and I think it teaches her to be a little open to, things that aren't normal for her, I guess. Sounds like a great way to kind of develop throughout the whole series. Imogen, what would you say the overall message of the series is? I'd definitely say that, obviously be careful what you wish for, but I feel like the, the entire message of the whole show is just to have fun and be a kid while it lasts, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Tyler, your character, Roy Raskin, is such a happy guy. 
How do you feel connected to him throughout the course of this series? I feel very connected to Roy in the way that me and Roy love basketball. <laughs> um, you know, we're both energetic. We're both love our sisters and yeah. Sounds like you really connected to him in a special way in the series. Thank you for joining us, Audrey, Tyler, and Emojin. Of course. Thank you so much. This, this was so fun. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you, Audrey Gase Marshall, Tyler Lattice, and Emojin Cullen for taking the time to talk with us today. This series, The Fairly on Parents, Fairly Honor, will premiere Thursday, March 31st, 2022, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. I'm Avalon. And I'm Kayla. Reporting for Kids First, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our interviews or reviews. Thanks for watching. Bye! There it is! The, the new, new series, series The, the Fairly Odd Parents, 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 Parents Fairly Amateur! Stream the full season with your family March 31st! Exclusively, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus.